But to, you know what I'll even say? Last thing I'll say on friends, pray for your friends. Pray for your friends. If there's one thing that I will never stop saying is pray for your friends. Your friends are struggling, going through so much, battling so much, and sometimes they won't even bring it up. They won't even say nothing. They won't even let you know. You need to be praying for your friends so much so that God can even speak to you for your friends. And could you imagine your friendships being in a place where one of your friends comes in and is struggling privately with depression? They never tell you. All they do is smile and you can say, hey, come here. God's been speaking to me for you. God's been telling me like, you know, you've been struggling and it's with these particular things. You understand that you can be in a walking encounter for your friends and get them free. But you got to stay sensitive to the Spirit of God. You see, when you pray and intercede for people, that is the most unselfish prayer, but you get, you get to push back wrath, push back judgment, push back the schemes and the, 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 the devices of the enemy, how they, the devil is really trying to destroy their lives. As you intercede, you get to push back and see, that's called mercy. You, you're pleading and asking God for mercy for your friends. And another word for mercy is time. Giving your friends space and time to get right. Giving your friends space and time to experience God or just essentially God to heal them, minister to them. And I'll share this testimony. I remember there was a time where there, I, had, I had some friends that were really battling, really struggling, even in their faith. And I prayed for them. I mean, I prayed for them for years, dedicated just to praying for my friends. I have a whole prayer list of all their names. I'm not talking about like my Christian friends or my believing friends. I'm talking about friends that I had, you know, when I wasn't living for God or I wasn't, in a sense, in the faith. And basically, um, you know, I had, there was an event I was ministering at and I was the speaker for that night. And uh, I found out that they were there. I didn't know, they didn't tell me, they just was there. And literally like I had did an altar call in a sense for people and I literally seen two of my friends on their knees just weeping, crying before God. And, and, and it really touched my heart. It really blessed my heart. Um, and they weren't necessarily in a place where they were fully devoted to God or even believing in God. So seeing that moment was like, wow, God, you, you're just amazing. And I would see that often, often, like some of my friends would come to these events and I seen them. And then, but my, my, my favorite one, where I was literally I had an altar call and one of my boys was there and he came to the altar and, you know, I was praying for people. And I really wanted, you know, to, for him to have an encounter with God. I really want him to be able to see God and know that God is real. Um, and literally, God told me to just hug him from behind in a sense and hold him. And, you know, my boy, he real rough, he real tough, he don't do all that touchy-touchy. And I just gave him a hug and I felt his shoulders kind of just rocking like this. And, you know, he, he a clown, so he'd be laughing and caring. I was thinking he just, he cracking a joke out of this moment. And literally God told me now to go in front of him and give him a hug. And so I did and he fell in my arms and I'm just holding him. And he's just weeping and weeping and weeping. I just begin to pray over him and pray over him and just affirm him in the spirit. And God told me, he said, son, the only reason why I'm letting you have this moment is because you prayed for your friends. And now you can use this as fuel to keep praying. Because the moment you pray, I move. And I'm breathing. And I'm, I'm, I'm ministering to the heart, to the people that you're praying for. So I tell people all the time, you pray for your friends. I don't care if it feels like nothing's changing. I don't care if it feels like nothing's happening. I don't care if it feels like they're headed for destruction. You pray for your friends.